Hey, what's up? It's an idiot here because, um, after, uh, like, episode 3, I never nicknamed any of the Pokemon I caught. So, I guess my punishment for that was, uh, they all died. So, we have to give Pumpkaboo a name. So, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing first in this episode, if Hop doesn't bother us. Not surprising. Wow. Good job, Hop. You are not annoying for once. Okay, um, we need to think of a nickname. What should we give, what should we give him? Uh, let's say, um, hmm, uh, geez. Well, Jesse had one in the anime, so we're gonna call her Jesse. We're gonna call it Jess. There. I should just give, um, Pokemon, I should just give the Pokemon's, uh, just real life names. Wouldn't that be smart? Um, okay, so now our next thing we have to do is, uh, that's actually really helpful. We can fish, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, I guess not. I guess I need the, uh, water bike mode to be able to actually get Pokemon. So that sucks, but what are we getting on Route 5, then? A double battle? Okay. Um, while I'm here, I checked out what Nessa's Pokemon levels were. And her highest level Pokemon, which is Dreadnought, is at level 24, so I'll be completely fine for, um, this. So, there's no problem with that. And, uh, she actually specializes in water types, so, um, we won't even have to worry about that because, um, you know, it's, uh, geez, where am I going with this? Uh, Pumpkaboo can easily sweep them. So we should be all good. Okay, so who is our first Pokemon gonna be? It's Swabuffet. Oh, no. That's not good. I don't... Oh, no. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Like, can I just kill this? Like, I don't I don't want this. I'd rather not catch anything than a Wabafet. It'll literally not be able to do anything for us. Because it can, it can use, like, counter and uh, mirror coat and all that stuff to, like... But it has no actual attacks. So, it has Destiny Bond too. So, I mean, whenever it goes down, we can take something down with it. Like, wh what am I supposed to call this thing? It's dumb. It's dumb. I didn't even know Wobbuffets could show up here. I'm severely disappointed. Wait a minute, does that mean... Can I still get the Toxel? Does it work like that? Am I allowed to get gift Pokemon? Hold on a second. You actually are allowed to get gift Pokemon, like legendaries and stuff, so I'm allowed to get Toxel, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, come home, Toxel. Um, the thing, the problem is, though, that it is starting at level 1, so we're just gonna have to keep it in the party for a little bit, and then, uh, just, you know, see what we can do with it. Let's call it, um, I'm gonna name him Freddy. Cause, like Freddie Mercury um I don't know if that's how you spell it but that's what I'm just gonna hope um so yeah now we have Freddy Freddy the Toxel five small exp candies I'll use them on on hit right on on yep I'm gonna use it they even knew they were like hey just just use them now um there they are let's see what this does for him hey level nine that's not that bad no new moves but um yeah when I actually first played through my uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I actually didn't even know that there was a gift Toxel in there, and I never went in there until I beat the game, and then I found out you could get the Toxel, so that was funny. And now I have to fight some Team Grunt. This is going to be fun. Is it a double battle, or is it just two single battles? Yep, two single battles. I, I just love doing two single battles back to back. They're just so fun. All right, Jess. Let's see. Uh, wait, what's stronger? Bullet seed? Yeah, this will probably hit more times than uh, that. So maybe one more time. Ooh, easy. Yeah, bullet seed will be very helpful to us. So I'm glad we could we were able to teach her that. Oh, and Jess is a girl, so that's that that's that makes much more sense. All right, then they got a thievel as well. Let's see if bullet seed can do it again. Beat up. Dang, dude, you got me. I, I don't know what I can do now. Oh, I just realized they're actually level 18. That's not very high. Ooh, three times. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Um, one more time and then we should be good. And it uses Tail Whip. Wow. You sure got me, dude. 
Even you could have used player uh, beat up again. Like that would have made more sense to do than uh, tail whip, especially now considering it, you're dead. Wow, Freddy is already at level 12. This is very good. Okay then, now we can get the bike. Thank God. I forgot we had to fight the other guy. Now we can get the bike, which is very nice. And the next, when we get the water bike upgrade, I think that's after we beat Melanie. So. That'll be a while, but it'll still be fine, because, uh, because then we'll, uh, we'll be able to go back to, like, other, uh, places and catch Pokemon that are only on water and stuff, which is nice, of course, but, you know, I don't know when that's gonna happen, like, if, well, I actually don't even know if the Pokemon will be, like, on level to where we are, because that's, when, that's the first time we'll be able to do it, or if it's, uh, like, the level that you should be able to beat the gym leaders. So, I don't know. And then I think Hop shows up here, too, doesn't he? Yep, there he is. Oh, boy. Get any closer and we're gonna have to battle. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. I, God, I hate this guy so much. I'm so glad we have two other rivals in this game. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even that mad that we have, uh, Bead and Marnie, because... They're all, they're all, like, good rivals, just, they're just not very enjoyable, but they're just good as rivals. Like, X and Y was awful with their rivals, but, yeah, this game does it pretty well. Any game that you, that has multiple rivals, um, what are some other ones? Like, Black and White, uh, they weren't as good, because they really, they made Sharon, like, the star of the show, and then Bianca just kind of existed, too. But then by the end of the game, they really just didn't care about Sharon, and then they just, and then they went for Bianca. So it was kind of weird how they did that, but I, I still don't like how they did that. But you know, um, yeah, Black and White too. I really like how they did that too because Chorus is like sort of your rival. He's like a half rival, sort of like how N is in Black and White. And then uh, Hugh, he's he's good. He's the only rival actually. Never mind. He's not really. Whatever. Um, oh wait, he's part of normal type, isn't he? Oh yeah, I forgot. Corviknight, Cor Rookity and Corvusquire are the first bird Pokemon that are pure flying types. Because before, they were always just normal and flying. But now, they're pure flying. Thank God for that. And I still can't kill him. No! No! It used Pluck! Jess is gone! Dang it! Oh my God, you're kidding me. Alright, we're gonna send in the dumb, this dumb Pokemon. Let's, uh, uh, I shouldn't have stayed in. I'm so mad. What does Safeguard do? Status, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sure, counter. Let's, let's see what that does. Jeez, I forgot this thing was tanky. Wow. Okay. So I guess if I don't want to risk anything, I can just send in Wobbuffet and then we're all good. Dang it, we lost Pumpkaboo. I'm so mad. But we'll be on Route 6 after we cross the bridge, I think, so we can get something else. Here's Raboot. Um, yeah, we can just encounter again. Let's see what it does. Double kick? Oh, it won't even hurt us that much. And if it hits us twice, then doesn't it... Would it do more? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we're sending in uh, Drizzile. That's not Drizzile. That is. Um, yeah, soon we'll be able to use Freddy, and that's gonna be very helpful for us, because Electric Poison is a very good typing, so, um, eventually it'll help, but not right now. Okay then, I guess we're gonna head on to the next, uh, section to see what we will be able to catch, because this, yeah, is this Route 6? No, it's still Route 5. Okay, game, I see how it is. This is how you're gonna beat me. Fine. Fine. Yeah, I guess they really don't have a lot of routes. They only have 10 routes. So, I mean, I mean, they, it wouldn't do much harm if there was an extra route or two. You know, it'd still be fine. I just realized these guys have the same idle animation. What the heck? That's weird. Dry skin? What? Okay. Okay, I think now, where are we going? Because... We are... I don't know where we are now. Are we in... Oh, we are in Hillbury. Oh, okay. That's convenient. I didn't think it was already that time. Um, I think the only Pokemon that shows up in Hillbury as a, um, a fishing spot is Aracuda. So, 
I mean, I guess that could help. Um, we already have Drizzile, but still, I think Aracuda is a good Pokemon to uh, do. All right, Oleana, dude. Honestly, Rose, I like the disguise. He's um, he's looking great with that. Uh, hold up. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's go, Rose. Why is this going? Okay, well, that's. You're looking great, Rose. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, so now she said, Oleana said that we have to go down yonder to fight the gym leader. Um, but first, we are going to catch Aracuda just to give him XP. Oh, well, do, we do have to see Nessa here anyway, so, you know, we have to come here regardless. So, let's just hope um, Aracuda is the only Pokemon, because there might be some other ones like Barboach or Magikarp. Oh, it is Aracuda. Okay, so yeah. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Another thing I want to do after we beat Nessa, like, um, before we make it our way to the Galar Mine, is, um, I want to go into the restaurant where Rose is. We have to go there, but after we're done with all that stuff, we can get the Lucky Egg, which is, which is something I want to get, because that'll definitely help us, um, for leveling up, like, lower level Pokemon. So... Um, that's definitely gonna be a really smart item to get for us and then um, well now we can talk to Nessa who's over here so for this gym challenge it's actually not that easy oh ball guy hold on Wh what do we got for you what, what do you got for me a litter ball thank you thank you I'll make sure I use that for the next Pokemon we fish for um like I was saying the geez what was I saying for this gym challenge it's not that easy but um, there are a lot of trainers that I might have to fight, so I put Wobbuffet in front just in case if anything bad happens to Drizzile, and because it'll be much easier to um, actually get hit. And I just realized that I need to give a nickname to Aracuda and Toxel. I don't. Could I even? I didn't even know if I could give it in Toxel. I think I just forgot, and I was stupid again. Okay. Um, I'll just do that after this gym. So. I know, I know it's Nuzlocke rules to give it a name, but does it really matter that much? Just, as long as I do it eventually, like, it's fine. Like, I'm not gonna do it on the spot every time, because I'm stupid and I'll forget it, so, you know, it sucks, but, whatever. Um, of course, no one cares about these, so I'm gonna skip them. You're welcome. Okay, jeez, that took way too long, but we did it, so. Ugh, finally. Um... Oh, I just realized, um, Kabu's Gym, it's all about catching and battling Pokemon, so I can actually catch a Pokemon there, so, ooh, that's gonna be fun, because I know I can catch, like, Vulpix, Growlithe, and uh, Roly Coley, I think, so that likes to be pretty helpful. Okay, I think I want to start off with Wobbuffet. No, I lied. Mmm, this is hard. <laughs> I'll start off with Aracuda. And let's see what happens. Because, uh, geez, I don't know. That might, that might help. Because he has bite, but he only has so many left. Because I actually used almost all, all the PP on bite. Um, on a Krabby. Because he kept using Harden, and then he had Whirlpool. So then I had to keep healing. And, oh god, it was the worst thing. It was, like, almost as bad as, like, dealing with a Caterpie. A Caterpie on Caterpie battle. Just, who just keep using Harden. It was awful. But okay. Nessa. Let's see how this goes. So I have 11 PP on fight. Horn attack. Oh my god. That does a lot. That's actually not that bad. So, my strategy for battles like these. I'll get down to low health. I'll heal up and then just keep doing more moves to where I get the exact same amount of health and then just rinse and repeat. Um, it's kind of a stupid strategy, but it kind of works. So, uh, yeah, why not do it? I don't think it's smart to get any more agilities in because that just doesn't sound like it'll help. And that'll be wasting turns. And I also don't have a lot of super potions left. Um, I have energy power and energy root, but I don't know if I want to use that now. And using one potion, let's see how that goes, because 32, okay, so it's like back at the same spot. She's going to keep using horn attack. I'll do this a few more times, honestly, because 
Well, let's just see what happens, honestly. Because Horn Attack, obviously, they don't have infinite PP either, so we're going to get her to try and do something else. But until then, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned, because uh, I'll cut it all out for you guys. See, I eventually got there, so now I can do another bite. It was all worth it. I only used, like, I only used, like, seven potions. And then this is where I'm going to use the energy root. Wait, what does super potion do? 60? Oh, never mind. I'm going to use a super potion then. So I can just reset it. Uh, horn attack now only has so much PP left. So we should be closer to fine. Not all the way fine, but closer to fine. That's that's what I'm going to say now. Not all the way fine, but closer to fine. Could you about, Could you imagine being in the crowd watching a battle like this? I, I just feel bad that you have to... <gasps> Oh my god, my heart stopped for two seconds there. Oh my god. Golding's dead. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What do I say? That scared me. Oh. I see we're evenly matched. Um, Ericud is only level 20, so I don't know what to do about this. We only have three super potions left. Oh god, this is not good. Because we have a whole other, we have, we have some more battles left. If it only has Aqua Jet, that might be fine. Because Fury Attack, two to five times. What's 15 times five? 75? This is a power of 60? Uh, no. That's not even. How much does your bite do? Ooh, and I flinched. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am actually going to change Pokemon. Wabapet is a Psychic type. Dang it. Let's see what happens, because, I mean, if we think about it, um, all that'll happen is, if it gets a bite off, I'll still be able to heal. Let's see how much that does. Oh, oh, we're fine. Okay, never mind. Let me use counter, because it'll keep using bite, and I'll counter back with a super strong hit, like that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, Wobbuffet, you're you're showing up now. Good, good. This is what I want from you. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Dreadnought. Oh man, I'm kind of scared because. Oh god. You know, if there was one Pokemon I I want to get rid of, if there's one Pokemon I had to get rid of, it'd definitely be Wobbuffet. So, I'm gonna use the Energy Root. I know that's a probably a bad idea, but. She is going to Dynamax, and then Dreadnought is going to be big and do a lot of damage. Um, so we'll just see, like, use Wobbuffet as a standpoint to see how much uh, stuff will do. And I don't even know if you can counter a Dynamax move, and if that's the case, then, um, hey, I'll do that. But, of course, we still have a Dynamax, and I'm going to use it with Dreadnought. Dreadnought, jeez. I'm going to use it with, um, oh, he has Mac Darkness. Okay, all right, that's that's fine. Do we say goodbye? Can I Destiny Bond a, Dry a Dynamax Pokemon? Wobbuffet, it was nice knowing you, but I don't know even know if I can Destiny. No, I can't. Ugh. Rest in peace. That would have been hilarious, but man. Okay, so uh, Dreadnought was only gonna be in Dynamax for one more turn, so that's good. Now, I'll Dynamax and be able to do a lot. I can use Max Darkness. Ooh. Right, because I, I taught uh, Drezile Sucker Punch. So that's actually going to be helpful, not even just as a Dynamax Pokemon, but just like in general using Sucker Punch. So let's see if this will work. And I know I said uh, something that I just remind myself of. Um... I wouldn't think I was I wasn't gonna think that it would be too long going from like one gym leader to another in each uh, episode, and I've almost been recording for 40 minutes. So I mean, hey, it it worked more than I thought because imagine if I had to do more. This would these episodes would be long. Well, they're probably already gonna be long, but still, who cares? Ooh, this isn't good. How much does this Mac Darkness do? Oh no, that was a critical hit. Oh no. His defense is still falling. Okay, I can Sucker Punch, and I win, right? Good. 
Drizzile is still alive, and that's all that matters because I need to keep Drizzile, like, whatever I do, <laughs> honestly. So, between it, episodes, I'm going to train up with raids and stuff, so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll definitely see what Kabu's strongest Pokemon is, which I think is, I think it's Karkul. And I will just see how much it'll, uh, how, like, what level he is, so I know how much I need to train him up. And the thing is, I have Drizzile and Aracuda, so I don't even think he'll be that bad, because we have a bunch of water types to deal with him. So, um, now we got Whirlpool, which actually might help out. Um, yeah, let's end the water uniform. Wow, thanks, guys. Okay, well, um... I guess I'll see you guys in another episode, and we will be fighting Kabu, so see you.